my 2022 uh, Grand Design Reflection uh, 20, uh, 28BH model number. So originally when I bought this fifth wheel, I had a B&W Patriot uh, fifth wheel hitch that I put in the back of the truck. Um, this did not have the uh, puck system, so I had to have the rails installed. You can actually see the mounting under here where the rails are mounted. Um, and I, the B&W fifth wheel hitch was actually really solid. I think we towed this probably 5,000 miles roughly last summer. Um, really good towing experience up until I had to remove the fifth wheel hitch out of the back end of the truck. That hitch weighed more than 200 pounds. So trying to do truck stuff with your truck when you have a giant hitch in the back end of it and you have to manually remove it. Um, I told myself never ever again was I gonna remove that hitch out of here. Um, I haven't seen a lot of content on YouTube regarding this new hitch. So this new hitch is rated at 20,000 pounds, whereas the BMW Patriot was only rated at 18,000 pounds. So it actually has a higher rating. The uh, Patriot was weight-wise over 200. I'll look up the exact stats, but if I remember correctly, I think it was around 220 pounds maybe. It didn't look heavy. I actually didn't believe that it was that heavy until I had to move it. So the new hitch that I have, and again, this is newer to the market, is the Kurt Crosswing. This is the new uh, Kurt Crosswing. Let me zoom in here. Again, it's rated at 20,000 um, pounds, all steel construction. So uh, it's only, this thing only weighs 60 pounds, believe it or not. Um, you know, compared to the 200 plus pounds of the B&W Patriot weighed, this is a huge difference in the weight of the hitch. So it's, it's uh, you know, again, I had these cross rails in here um, held in by four pins. I believe that they may have a puck system too if your truck has the puck system installed. But again, this, uh, this is a very lightweight, but a very stout hitch. And in my opinion, a very smart design with how this works. to see here the uh, the piece that is going to fit kind of down in that hole in there and that's where it rests and again it locks in here with that bolt so um, if I look here I'm probably just about the right height to go in there so I'm going to continue to back in and then I'm going to lower it down and then I'll be able to lock it in So you can see down here on the bottom that we're all locked in that um, that round, I don't know what I call it, notch is in the bottom there. Uh, so it's right where it needs to be. Um, so this is all gonna be aligned. So to lock in this hitch, push this in here, this rod, push it in, turn it. And then now I'm gonna lock in the safety pin. I also have to say that this is much easier to reach than the pin was on the BMW 2. This just everything seems to be a little bit easier with this.
So this is my son, Luke. He is 10 years old. Uh, again, the, the hitch that we got rid of was the B&W Patriot. It weighed in at about 220 pounds. This shows exactly how light this hitch is. This hitch is 60 pounds, and a 10-year-old can actually lift this hitch up and bring it back to me on the tailgate. So Luke, why don't you show them that you can lift this up and bring it back to me? It's got the two handles on the sides. Look at that. A 10-year-old. Again, it's not light, still 60 pounds. It's a pretty heavy load for a 10-year-old, but guess what? A 10-year-old can lift this hitch out. And again, this is steel. This is not aluminum like some of the other lightweight hitches that you see on see, uh, see Anderson selling. So in my opinion, this is much heavier duty, um, rated at 20,000 pounds. And a 10-year-old can actually remove this from the back end of your truck. So um, I had a very difficult time removing the B&W Patriot considering um, it weighed 220 pounds. I removed the Patriot once and I told myself I would never remove it or add it back into my truck again. I bought this, zero regrets.